Hello guys, welcome to Hot Ninja Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anytime they come across this video. And guys, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and on the bell icon and share this video. God bless you as you do so and God bless my subscribers and my followers on Facebook. I know the way we did the analyze and here now. The way we just see the matter and so we take the table round. Hello guys, hello people. Welcome back to another segment here yeah, with Hot Ninja Entertainment. Greetings viewers all over the world, my correct people. I don't bring latest update again from this our Nigeria pastor Apostle Alfred. Where this man they ask some group of people say why did they think say Iboma not will become the president of this country called Nigeria. So, guys, I will just leave the video to play so that you guys can still watch the video and drop your comments at the comment section what you think about this video and feel free to share this video as well so guys without wasting much time guys now who talk say Ibo person who will be the president for nigeria now who really talk at? now who really talk say Ibo man no will be the president for nigeria and, and how did they do the analysis and uh, how did they come to that uh, conclusion to say Ibo man no go fit be president for Nigeria. If a full animal fit be president, why Igbo man no go fit be president for Nigeria? This one a question. When the be say I need to ask, and every one of us need to really sit down, make we ask ourselves this question. Because I I I, I don't check everything. I, I I try to put one or two things together. To say why be say Igbo man who feel rule this country? Why? If Buhari, if Fulani, when it be say that they commit a lot of atrocity against other region, feel be president. Why an Igbo man cannot be president? Why person from the southeast no feel be president for this country? Because truth not make we not talk him, and we will talk him as it be. Because I don't try to open up the file. Why Igbo man will feel the president? Why, why, why? They're not the human being. Wait, now question we need to ask ourselves. They're not the human being. Of course, they are. And they also deserve, and also deserve to be president of Nigeria. Yes. Yes. They deserve to be president of Nigeria. So I beg, make we really throw away sentiment, make we throw away tribal sentiment, make we really see how we will address the injustice meted against a certain region in this country. How a certain region has been marginalized and how a certain region does also make themselves a demigod over other regions. As if say other regions will be human beings. The truth be this. If we no one let Igbo man become president of Nigeria, Muna let them go. Muna let them go. See, let's make we face reality. Make we throw away sentiments. Let us dwell with sentiment. Make we really talk him as they be. Now who really talk say Igbo man no go feel be president for Nigeria? Who? And you not tell me why they no go feel be president. So how na they come to that conclusion? We all have to do that meeting. How na take conclusion that only one region, one uh, particular people, na go to rule this country, that they go to president? No. No. Somebody from the southeast deserves to be a president of this country. And this is the truth of the matter. Make we throw in sentiment. I beg. Make we really throw in sentiment. Make we put light into it that they talk so. 
and I did very entitled to my own opinion. Yes, I did very entitled to my own opinion. And every man get rights to his own opinion. My people, make me really check this thing. He good. He good. Make me more ask ourselves this question. He did good. No. To me, he not good. And an injustice. So I beg. Nigeria belongs to everybody. Nigeria not belong to a certain region. So say not them. No. Nigeria not belong to a certain tribe. Nigeria belongs to everybody. For as long you are in this country, everybody have rights to live and everybody get rights to, to leadership and everybody get rights to do what he's supposed to do. Rightly. My people, I beg, make on settle and think this matter. Now who will toxic woman? No go be president for this country. Who? We had to do that meeting. Now that meeting where they hold, where they decide say Boman no be president, is gross injustice and wickedness. Injustice and wickedness to the Igbos. Let them say the truth. And there is no region you don't have betrayal. Betrayal is everywhere. They betray the sun, they betray everywhere. But let me really make me face the facts, make me face the reality. Now, who really talk say Igbo man who will be president of Nigeria? Now, tell me why they don't go agitate for freedom. Tell me why they don't go talk about freedom. Igbo people, they are human beings too. If a full animal will be, will be president, so nothing to be able to stop an Igbo man from becoming a president. Go check all the prostitutes for Nigeria. The full animal the ruler. You mission a full animal come better pass it for first people. When I mission at that tribe, now come better pass all of us. No. No. Every tribe they unique. On their own, so you must not use your own. They spoil everybody own. You must not use your own. They spoil everybody own. Therefore, an evil man deserve to be president of Nigeria. Yes, this one is my own opinion. Because all this, uh, oh, you know, concern me. They, they are only fighting the Igbos, my brother. The Igbos are human beings. They are human beings. I will not talk her as it be. This one a really serious matter. When I want make everybody put mass. Make with true sentiment. Make we really talk her as it be. And how they take do the mathematics to talk say ah, a man cannot be president in Nigeria. How are we ready for do that meeting? Or when they tell you was able man if you rule this country. No. That was wickedness. That was wickedness. And we must all look inward. We must all look inward. And make we talk about C D B. An evil man, they deserve a better life. An evil man deserve a better life. Because they are human beings. The sentiment, the oppression against the evils is totally unacceptable. Make we not celebrate oppression for this country. Make we not celebrate injustice. Injustice to one region is against is, is injustice against other region. Me, I'll continue to talk about CDB. Now who talks say Igbo man who will be president of this country? Now who talk? Now who talk? 
How can you just sit down? You just marginalize one region. You just carry them, put for one corner. Say they can never be president, they cannot rule this country. How? Then, so with me, now I fully really come better past everybody. As president from SARS.com, before, good luck, outside go enter, the next person now is supposed to be from the East. If one really follow equity, or see by the uh, passenger from the West, then uh, the outside can come. Outside can come out. Uh, good luck can come from South South. No, no, South South come out. Outside can come. Who now I give again? West or uh, our outside? No. The presidency should go to the East. Now, if they rotate and they will support the rotator, all this agitation of let us go away, it don't go day. It don't go day. So, maybe we tell ourselves the truth and maybe we face the reality. But tell ourselves the truth and let us face the reality. Now, who really talk say, Ibo man not going to be president for Nigeria? Who? If we go, if someone really check, the most industrious and productive set of people on earth. They are the evils. That is the truth. Imagine a businessman becoming a, a president of this country. You know what they how they will take invent a lot of things into this country. Not the people who say they get business about cow. But we are talking about life. We are talking about life. An evil man deserves to be president of this country. But the oppression. The marginalization against the people of the East is totally unacceptable. And there's no way you can tell us that Igbos are minority. No, nobody is a minority in Nigeria. Everybody are all equal. Nobody is a minority. And you can never say that people from the East, they are minority. No. No. Because if we don't speak against what they happen now, my brother, it will reach your turn. And once you, when they begin to oppress you, you cry out. God go, God go flog you by himself. If the way that they oppress one region, we all of all keep quiet and say, you know, because I mean, I don't be my region. My brother, one day, the same hand will let you oppress your brother on another region, those things that they oppress you. Tell friend truth, you know, they spoil friends. But for Nigeria today, we'll talk about truth, the color hate speech. Thank you for watching that video. And guys, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.